This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 445, Are Credit Cards Weapons of Mass Financial Destruction? by Sam of FinancialSamurai.com. And hi again, everybody. I'm Dan, your host and narrator here on the show. Happy Friday to all of you. If you are new here, this is where I read to you each weekday from some of the best personal finance blogs out there. We put all that great content into a podcast form, like an audio book with a bunch of different authors, and of course, completely free of charge. And this episode is brought to you by LinkedIn Learning, the online learning platform with thousands of expert-led video tutorials to help you build your business, tech, and creative skills. LinkedIn Learning now features content from lynda.com, the leader in online learning for the past 20 years. For a free 30-day trial, visit linkedin.com slash finance and start achieving more today. For now, let's hear from Sam as we optimize your life. Are Credit Cards Weapons of Mass Financial Destruction? By Sam of FinancialSamurai.com The answer depends on if your name is Saddam Hussein, although proponents would say no proof was ever found. You hear so many stories of consumers up to their eyeballs in credit card debt, and I'm just wondering why. Credit card debt is the most expensive debt out there, second only to usurious rates of loan sharks. Perhaps the reason why is because credit cards are ubiquitous. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there were 173 million credit holders in the U.S. in 2006, using 1.5 billion credit cards. That's right, the ratio is almost 10 credit cards to every one user, with transaction volumes of over 2 trillion a year. No wonder the U.S. consumer gets in trouble and why credit cards are such big business. My view on credit cards is quite simple. Use credit cards only to your advantage and never let them take advantage of you. Whenever you see your credit card misbehaving, you should think to yourself, bad boy, bad, bad. I think my wife tells me this sometimes, but I try to tune it out. Joel is hosting a $500 American Express giveaway and gosh darn it, I'm entering to give myself a chance to win. In You're Rejected, How I Use Rejection to Motivate Me Every Single Day, we discuss how success is a numbers game. The more you put yourself out there, the higher the chance you have to succeed. Here's my attempt to win and use the proceeds to buy toys and clothing for underprivileged children this winter in San Francisco. The program is called Toys for Tots. Two missiles in my wallet. My first card is the American Express corporate card necessary for business bookkeeping purposes. You see, all client expenses must be paid for by my corporate Amex card so the company can match costs with profits. Makes sense. Too bad I have to pay the bill every month and then get reimbursed, thereby creating unnecessary delays, negative working capital, and occasional late fees. There was a time when having an Amex corporate card was very cool, your early 20s, but it soon gets old. At least their service is solid. The second card is my personal Citibank home rebate card, which gives me a 1% rebate on all purchases to pay off the principal of my primary residence. I've had that card for six years and the card has paid off more than $1,700 worth of principal already. What's more interesting to note is that based off a 5-6% to mortgage interest rate, the real savings is thousands and thousands more because of interest saved over time. Of course, nothing is perfect. I woke up one day to find my 6.99% Citibank home rebate credit card rate jumped to 14.99% during the height of the recession last year. Funny because the 10-year yield was still in the low 3% range and the Fed funds rate was below 1%. This pissed me off and I immediately called them to lower the rate. Again, Don't let credit card companies and banks take advantage of you. Packing an A-bomb. If someone were to kidnap my pet rabbit and force me to sign up for another credit card to save his life, I would have to pick the Visa Black Card. The selection of credit cards Joel provides is impressive, but only the Visa Black Card is, well, black. In addition, the description says, membership limited to only 1% of U.S. residents. Don't you want to feel special if you pack a new financial weapon of mass joy? Weapons for Peace A credit card is a wonderful financial tool if used properly. I put everything on my personal credit card because, one, it helps record all my transactions which are divided into different categories I can review every month. Two, the 1% home rebate saves me money but is not the primary reason for use. Three, I don't like carrying over $100 in cash. And four, a credit card provides consumer protection against fraud and defects. But I must ask again, why on earth would you ever not pay off your bill in full every month? Not doing so is akin to pulling the grenade pin and not letting go. Did you know that if you paid off $999 of your $1,000 balance, most credit cards will charge you interest on the full $1,000 balance? 
Credit card companies are marketing geniuses. Make sure you're Albert Einstein. The credit card companies already make a small commission off the vendor every time you use the card, so don't let them charge you interest as well. Credit cards are not weapons of mass financial destruction if used properly. Instead, they are a necessary part of day-to-day transactions, and there seems to be no turning back. Other handy uses for credit cards. One, spatula, when there's a hole in the wall to fill with cock. Two, ninja star, when I'm in a dark alley and someone's coming after me. Three, babe magnets at a bar when I tell the bartender to leave it open. Four, lock pick, when I leave my keys in the house. Five, toothpick, after a good old San Francisco crab feast. Looking for an awesome travel rewards credit card? Check out the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card and others. I use my Chase credit card for all my business and travel spending to get points for free travel, insurance in case my bags are lost or my flight is stuck, and more insurance for defective products I buy and want to return. Everybody should have a credit card for the free 30-day credit. Just make sure to pay off your credit card every month in full. Check out some of the benefits. Earn 50,000 bonus points when you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. That's a $650 value right there. Named a best credit card for travel rewards by Money Magazine. You get two points on travel and dining at restaurants and one point per dollar spent on all other purchases. You just listened to the post titled, Are Credit Cards Weapons of Mass Financial Destruction? by Sam of FinancialSamurai.com. And this episode is being brought to you by LinkedIn Learning, now featuring lynda.com content, the leader in online learning for the past 20 years. LinkedIn Learning is for problem solvers, for go-getters, for people who want to make moves in their career. Maybe you want to sharpen your accounting skills, improve your profitability, or learn about risk management. Everything you need to achieve more is on LinkedIn Learning. Time is money, and whether you work in accounting or just deal with spreadsheets as part of your workflow, LinkedIn Learning can improve your efficiency. They have an extensive library of dedicated Excel courses and tutorials, so you can master things like advanced formulas and pivot tables. They also offer training on QuickBooks, covering everything from bookkeeping basics to processing payroll. LinkedIn Learning works with software publishers to develop up-to-date courses on all of the latest software every time a new version is released, and... LinkedIn Learning has courses for all experience levels, covering a wide range of technical skills, creative techniques, business strategies, and more. Now, I got to take the course Managing Your Personal Finances, obviously perfect for what we talk about here. And it's great because it goes over the three main parts of personal finance, spending, saving, and investing. Of course, you're welcome to explore all of their courses. They actually have recommendations curated just for you, and it's really easy to find the right video course that's perfect for you from their extensive library. And there are no hidden charges, no upsells. Access all the courses you want, all for one monthly price, and it's available worldwide. Learn from anywhere and from your computer, tablet, or mobile device. We've got a special deal for you. You can get a free 30-day trial with LinkedIn Learning today by visiting linkedin.com slash finance. That's linkedin.com slash finance, all lowercase, And we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening today and every day. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you on Monday. Same time, same place. That's where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.